Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we are doing a... Okay, I apologize for the quality. This fan is... Hold up, we're gonna turn this down. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh wait, it's already done. Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing a DIY ferret holding container. We're gonna call it a holding cell because this little, little lady... Where are you, little lady? She's over here right now because I had to clean out the case she was in. There she is, the prisoner. She's in her little prison right now. We're gonna make her holding cell. And do not think that this is permanent. This is not permanent. It may last for a couple weeks. After that though, it is going out and I am getting an actual cage for her because it's expensive and I do not have the money. So I gotta wait for my next paycheck. Anyway, so we got here and I'll explain everything as we go along. But today we got, um, I think it's like a 40 gallon clear plastic tote. Uh, I washed it up because it used to hold, as you guys, if you guys watched the video before, um, some rabbits and a guinea pig I had, but they have all been rehomed. So this is now empty. I'm like, oh, this is perfect. So I threw her old cage, which was right there. I took everything out. I threw her old cage away because that thing was nasty. And this is way better for her because one, she can see me now. Two, I can see her and I can play with her while she's in there. And um, yeah, it's just all around easier to clean. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill eight oxygen holes here, and I'm going to use a drill with a eight, blah, 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 eight centimeter drill bit, and then I'm going to lay the inside with everything she's gonna need, put her hammock in here and everything like that, and then she'll be good for the night. So I'm gonna get those holes drilled really quick, and then we'll get ready, to set everything up and get her ready for the night. All right, guys, so on top of putting, let me show y'all. On top of putting the eight holes, I don't know if you can see them very well. Um, on top of putting eight holes there, I put two holes on each audio quality. Come on back. No, not audio, visual. There we go. Um, on top of putting the eight holes on the lid, I put two holes on each side of the box to create circulation. And I do have a fan running, which I'm gonna have her box sitting on this. So there will be consistent air going through here so it doesn't get too hot for her. And she only stays in here during the night. So she's only here like six hours and then the rest of the day she's roaming free around the shed and inside our uh, sunroom. So this is only temporary, it is not permanent, and it's pretty well oxygenated. So shoo, 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 shoo. I didn't know if y'all notice, but I have a problem speaking. It's just driving me nuts. Yeah, I can't pronounce anything. She shouldn't have a problem in here. There we go. Good gracious, that was hard. All right, so I'm gonna line the bottom with paper towels. I probably will get a towel for her eventually. She'll probably wreck it, poop on it and stuff like that, but that's okay. Um, paper towels will do for now though. And then I'll get her food, water, and her hammock, and her, um, let's call it the toilet. And uh, yeah, we'll get everything set up, and then we shall put the prisoner in her holding cell. Alrighty, I think everything's ready. She's got her pooping area, food, water, hammock, which is very dirty and I need to wash. And this needs to go like that, okay. All right, let's get our prisoner. Hello? Prisoner, where are you? There you are, come here. Okay, how are you? Come, 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 come. Where are you going? Ah. Uh, there you are. Ooh, your nails are sharp. I need to trim those. All right. Here we go. Your new home. Yes, this is not as small as the other one. This is bigger for you. Um, she's got fresh water, and I'm going to change it daily. I will change the food, and I will clean out her litter box daily. Um, this will get washed soon as well. None of this is permanent. This is only temporary until I have enough money to get her a proper cage and some better sleeping equipment. Uh, but she should be fine in here for the night. I'll come out over each morning, let her out during the day, put her in during the night. And um, yeah, I will be doing some caretaking videos on ferrets later on. If you guys have any questions about them, if you were interested in getting one, I have, I'll have information. I am learning right now with her as well because this is my first time ever keeping a ferret. They are pretty cool little creatures. They're like a rat, but not as so much. And um, I'm not too fond of rats, so this is a great um, middle ground for me. So yeah, we're gonna put this on. Don't freak out, don't freak out. Uh-oh, that snapped, oh boy. There we go. And voila. She is ready for the night, all right. There we go. The prisoner is in her cell block for the night and she is ready for her sleep. 
If you guys have any questions or any ideas or further improvements on this, please let me know in the comments section. If you like this video, hit the like button. Or if you don't like this video, don't hit the like button. I mean, you could hit the dislike button, but I mean, that's, I would rather you not, but if you want to, you can. It won't kill me, I don't think. I don't know, I have no idea. Um, yeah. If you guys want to see more content, I will be doing a lot more stuff on a lot of fish stuff, a lot of ferret stuff, um, frogs, toads, snakes, stuff like that. I don't do too many mammals. This will be one of the few mammals that I do do about. Later on, I might do more, but we shall see. So if you guys like this stuff, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get all my videos. And yeah, until next time, peace.